good morning to all welcome you all for the uh, introduction about chromatography technique in this what is a chromatography chromatography is a separation technique which was used to separate molecules of amino acids carbohydrates proteins uh, and other molecules it is how it was separated means it is based on the uh, principle like that of absorption or either partition chromatography. There are so many types of chromatographies are performed based on their uh, mobile phase used. Paper chromatography, thin layer chromatography, gas liquid chromatography, column chromatography, ion exchange chromatography are some examples. First, we saw about the paper chromatography. The principle based on the paper chromatography is the partition chromatography. In this, we are taking amino acids as for the separation technique. The separation of solutes, that is amino acid, how it was separated means a liquid-liquid partition of amino acids. The partition takes place between the water molecules and the and absorbed to the cellulose. The cellulose it is nothing but the paper which we used in this chromatography. The chromatography paper was made up of cellulose material. Next, the how the solvent was prepared is in the ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 1. Butanol, acetic acid and water are used as the solvent. The filter, there is a range for the filter paper. Here, the filter paper number, water number 1 is used for running the chromatogram. So, in this procedure, what are the reagents must be used? is Wattman number one filter paper and chromatography chamber hair dryer which was used to dry the filter paper after the uh, chromatogram running out next atomizer micro syringe or a capillary tube is used to uh, spot the amino acids in the filter paper next mobile phase mobile phase was made up of Butanol, acetic acid and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 1. Next, amino acids. How the amino acids are prepared means uh, different amino acids are dissolved in water at a concentration of 100 mg per ml. Then we uh, very diluted to HCl. With, it was diluted with HCl and dissolved to the free amino acid. Next, uh, final one is ninhydrin reagents. The ninhydrin is the uh, solution which was uh, used to identify the amino acid. Here we separate the amino acids. So, we are using ninhydrin solution for the uh, identification of amino acid. This is the procedure how we separate amino acid using the paper chromatography. Here we are taking a filter filter paper number one uh, filter paper and it was cut into a circular because it is now we performed about the circular chromatography cut into a circle of diameter of about 20 centimeter. Then a four, uh, pen, by using a pencil a line was drawn in 4 centimeters away from the center. Then the circle was dividing into a four equal portions. In these four portions, we, st we spot the known amino acids in three and unknown mixture was spotted along the pencil line at a specific spots. Then a hole was made in the center of the paper and a wick was inserted into it. Then a paper was kept in a a petri dish containing a 5 ml of the solvent that is a mobile phase. Then the solvent was sucked up by the wick which transfers it to the chromatographic paper. So this is the partitioning technique. As the solvent spreads, it carries with it various amino acids.
After two to three hours, the solvent front was about one centimeter away from the edge of the paper. Then it was removed, air dried, and uh, and identified the amino acids by spraying the ninhydrin reagent. It is the another type of chromatography that is column chromatography. This chromatography is uh, used for the separation of the plant pigments. This chromatography is also based on the partition principle. These are the reagents used to perform a column chromatography that is benzene, methanol, anhydrous sodium sulfate, alumina, acetone and a plant material because we in this method we are using to separate a plant pigment so plant material is used this is the procedure for the column chromatography in the by using this column chromatography we are separating a plant pigments so a plant material was weighed accurately and it was uh, crushed uh, by using a motor pen pressure and adding a benzene in, and benzene and ethanol in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and following are the procedure for the uh, separation technique. Thank you everyone.